Hello and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise. Today we're going to be taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The Texans are coming off a huge win last week over the Kansas City Chiefs, where they won 47-45 in an absolute thriller. The 49ers, they made the playoffs a year ago, but have been a bit disappointing this season. Even though they have pretty much the same roster, which is one of the best here in our franchise, and at quarterback they have a young developing player in Trey Lance, who has some pretty great ratings across the board, and has put up some good stats this year. 17 touchdowns to just 4 interceptions, so the 49ers, they are probably better than their record, I guess we'll find out here on the field today as the 49ers start with the ball and a throw underneath there to Torres, who picks up 13 yards and a first down. Now Trey Sermon runs it ahead for a gain of 2. Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers do like to run the ball quite a bit. As you see, Trey Sermon had 27 carries for over 100 yards last week. He has another handoff to him here, and he's going to pick up maybe a yard or two. Now third and six, Lance pump faking all day. He's going to go underneath here to Ola B.C. Johnson, and he's going to be brought down short of the line to gain. The Texans defense gets a quick stop and gets the ball to Dwight Devine and the offense. Who had a pretty good game last week against the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see if he can follow that up here today. A play action fake and Devine is drilled by a defensive back. Coming around there on a blitz. Second and ten. Here is Willis taking it ahead for a gain of nine. Third and one. We're going to stick with Willis and give it to him again. He runs over Joey Bosa to pick up a first down up to the 35. A new set of downs for the Texans. Devine pressure coming. He gets this one off just in time to Cole Beasley. But he is spun on down with a gain of just one. Second and nine. Devine has time going down the field. Caught by Claypool. And he has a first down across midfield to the 42 of the 49ers. Claypool has been pretty reliable so far in his couple of games with us. As Devontae Adams takes a screen pass. Ahead, picking up a couple yards. Now third and three. A read option keeper for Devine. And he's blasted down in the backfield. Had no chance to pitch it. And it is going to be fourth down. He will send on Fairbairn to kick this one on through, and he barely gets it over the crossbar there. One early 3-0 lead here for the Texans as Trey Sermon takes a handoff for maybe a yard here. Now third and 10. 49ers go empty. Lance extending, lobbing downfield one-on-one, -on -one, caught by Ola B.C. Johnson. And he's across midfield to the Houston 46. What a catch there by the former seventh-round pick out of Colorado State. Lance over the... Middle there, kind of to the left side. Kittle can't make the catch. It is broken up. Second and 10, Trey Sermon stuffed in the backfield. That is Ross Blacklock bringing him down there. Third and 13. Texans show blitz, but they only rush four. Lance moving left, and he's going to be sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle all the way back at his own 40, and it is going to be fourth down. The Texans take over after a punt, and a great job the defense bouncing back after a nice play by Ola B.C. Johnson. Here is Cole Beasley with a huge gain up to the 42. Play action fake to Willis after the big pass play. And Devine is extending left. Has nobody really open. Finally sees a man downfield. It's Chase Claypool. All the way inside the 30 of the 49ers. Down at the 24. A great job by Devine getting the ball off before he took that hit. And allowed that big play to even happen. As Willis gets a handoff and picks up maybe a yard. Second and nine, Devine going underneath. Caught by Claypool again here. He is having a pretty big first quarter. Third and inches. They're going to try to throw for it. Devine's going to check it down left side to Willis. Inside the 10, he has a first down and is out of bounds of the two. It is going to be goal to go as we are nearing the end of this first quarter. I give to Willis up the middle, and he's ripped down by Fred Warner. And that is going to end the first quarter. Second and goal, a handoff to Leonard Fournette, and he walks into the end zone untouched. More in the first touchdown here on the day and extending this Houston lead. So the Texans up 10-0 here early in the second quarter. We'll see if the 49ers can answer as Trey Sermon gets a swing pass and picks up nine yards. Second and one, Sermon up the middle. He is going to be stuffed down in the backfield, losing two on the play. Bring up third and three. The Texans' rush defense has been great all season long and is off to a great start in this one as Ola B.C. Johnson picks up the first down out of bounds at the 40. Ola B.C. Johnson has been the favorite target here today for Trey Lance. Kind of surprising when the 49ers have Debo Samuel and George Kittle, but they haven't even looked their way really at all. Another run stuff here in the backfield. This time it is Ndamukong and Sue bringing up third and eight. Lance extending right, has nobody open. He's going to take off and has the first down across midfield. Finally sliding down at the Houston 30. 
And as he takes this one for a gain of 27. If you're going to play a man defense, you got to have a better contain there on the edge against a mobile quarterback. As Trey Sermon is stuffed in the backfield again. This time it is Martin Boyce making the play. Bring up third and nine. See if the 49ers can convert here. Plants all day. Going to the end zone into double coverage. Nearly intercepted. He's going to be caught off the interception attempt by Roman Davis. How do you not intercept that in the first place? But will it be C. Johnson making another big play? I mean, come on. A terrible decision by Trey Lance. Running into double coverage, but Ola B.C. Johnson, he stayed ready and is having a great game here so far. So the Texans up just three after the defensive mistake. Devine going downfield, caught by Cole Beasley. And he has a first down up to the 47 as Devine is off to a fast start in this one. Eight of nine. And there's going to be a flag on the play here on first down. That's going to be holding on Laramie Tunsil, which would kill the drive basically and result in a punt by Dom Booth. See if he can pin the 49ers back deep, and he does. Out of bounds at the 11. A great job by Don Booth, as always. Five minutes to go here in the first half as Lance is going downfield to who else but Ola B.C. Johnson. He's going to be out of bounds up at the 45. Can somebody cover him? Another pass attempt here on first down for Lance. Moving around underneath, caught by Torres, and he's across midfield to the Houston 42. Lance himself is 8 of 10. So far in this one, here is Trey Sermon juking ahead and picking up five yards. 11 carries for 11 yards on the day for him. Second and five, Sermon right side, and he has the first down up to the 32. They are still sticking with this run game. Second and 12, Lance going downfield, caught by Torres. He burns Michael Barr here on a double move and has put the 49ers up in front here in the first half. I mean, Michael Barr has had a rough couple of games. He was killed last week by the Chiefs and is now getting burned by the 49ers. The Texans have under three minutes to go here in the first half. See if they can answer. Devine going downfield. It's intercepted. That is Wallace. The 49ers are going to take over in Houston territory at their 40 with under three to go here in the first half. I mean, this ball is thrown way too late, intended for Joe Scott. They had to be out a lot sooner, and it wasn't. So the 49ers looking to add to their lead. A play action fake here on first down. Lance spinning around and sacked all the way back at his own 49. That is Sheldon Richardson making the big play. Out third and 18. Lance all day here. Stepping up. Lobbing to the end zone. One on one. Broken up intended for Debo Samuel. It's going to be fourth down. And they're going to have to punt it. They were not in field goal range. So Devine and the Texans avoid... A disaster after that terrible interception. And here's a big play to Joe Scott downfield up at the 36. Minute 30 to go. Divine going downfield. A man open. Oh, my God. How do you miss him? A wide open receiver. It was Joe Scott. He could have had a walk-in touchdown. Second and 10. Divine going to check this one down to Brevin Jordan. And they're going to have to use a timeout. Third and one. All day for Divine. Nobody really open. He's extending right. And he is going to take off, picking up the first down and is out of bounds at the 41 of San Francisco. They are at least nearing into field goal range. Devine going downfield again here. And it's off the hands of Cole Beasley. But there is a flag and it's going to be roughing the passer. So a big play anyway, but it could have been a bigger one if Cole Beasley would have made that catch. Second and nine here is James White on a screen pass. The 49ers are not fooled by that one. Good job by James White getting out of bounds. Third and eight with 55 seconds left. Divine underneath and he misses Devontae Adams. So the Texans have to settle for a field goal here and make this a 13 to 14 game, which is going to be our score here at halftime. Houston had a great first quarter, but man, was that second quarter awful. We'll see if they can turn things back around in the second half. The Texans are going to play the Jaguars next week. And the Jaguars are currently trying to get back to 500, leading the Ravens there nearing halftime themselves. So let's get to the second half here as the Texans are going to start with the ball again at two yards on first down by White. Second and eight, pressure coming, and Devine is going to be sacked by Joey Bosa. You're not going to get away from him too often. We did have extra help on that side, trying to help out our rookie right tackle, but it was a failed block attempt there by Patrick Ricard. You got to do a better job of helping out there, especially on Joey Bosa. You don't want to leave him one-on-one -on -one too often. So the Niners have great starting field position here as Ola B.C. Johnson makes the catch on first down. Second and five, Lance going deep down the field to who else but Ola B.C. Johnson. It is broken up this time by Michael Barr. Third and five, Lance all day going left side to George Kittle. 
And he has a first down to the Houston 44. A play action fake here on first down, Lance. Going over the middle, caught by Torres. No, it is broken up by Barr again here. Second and 10. Lance, quick throw over the middle, caught by, who is that? That is Carroll, one of their other young receivers. They still have not really targeted Samuel very much yet. Lance extending left here on first down. He's going to take off and slide down, picking up five yards. Now third and four. Lance, going left side, caught by Debo Samuel. There he is, finally targeting him, and a great timing route there by Lance and him. All day in the pocket here for Lance, and he's going to the end zone over shooting Torres. Second and 10, Dre Sermon up the middle, hurtling ahead and picking up a yard or two, bringing up third down. Third and eight, Lance, all day, going to check it down to Trey Sermon right side, and he is brought down by Jacoby Stevens, bringing up fourth down to the Niners. They're going to have to settle for a field goal, which will make this a 17-13 49ers lead here. The Dexans have their second possession of this second half. We'll see if it goes better than the first one. There's a flag on first down, and Devine's just going to take off and get knocked out of bounds there, but what is the flag for? It is holding on Martin McIntyre. So now first and 20 back at the 15. Vine looking around, gonna go underneath to Damian Willis, and he's gonna pick up a couple of yards here. Now third and 13. You have Devine can get the job done here. He's going downfield for Nico Collins, who makes a great catch there on the sideline up at the 41, keeping the drive going. Second and 10. All day for Devine, over the middle, dropped by Byron Mitchell, he can't hang on. For another third down, the Texans go empty. Pressure coming, Devine over the middle, off the hands of Chase Claypool, incomplete. The Texans have to punt this one away. And the 49ers have a chance to go up more here. This is caught by George Kittle after a bobble. And he's going to have a first down up to the 36. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. And it's left side off the hands of Debo Samuel. Third down. The Niners go empty here. All day for Lance stepping up, and he misses a wide-open receiver in Torres. And the fans can't believe it. So a punt there by San Francisco as the Texans take back over at their own 20. Divine downfield caught by Adams, and he is up to the 45 as we end this third quarter. So we begin the fourth quarter here with the Texans trailing by four, trying to drive down the field and take the lead here. Divine's got to throw it away there on first down. Second and 10. Only a three-man rush all day for Divine. He's going deep down the field, nearly intercepted. It was intended for Devontae Adams. Third and 10. The Texans go empty. Devine extending right, setting his feet. as a man wide open. It's Adams, and he has a first down out of bounds at the San Francisco 35. You usually trust Devontae Adams on those third downs, and it was no different there as Willis takes it ahead for a gain of seven yards. Second and three, James White the back, and he's going to get a carry. He is hit ahead for a first down and a gain of five yards. Second and nine, a clean pocket. Divine underneath to Brevin Jordan, and he's going to have a first down out of bounds at the nine, and it'll be goal to go for the Texans. First and goal. Divine left side, caught by Claypool, but he's down at the one. He couldn't roll in. Second and goal. Willis getting a carry, and he falls ahead into the end zone, making this a Texans lead here in the fourth quarter. Great job blocking up front there. The 20-17 the Texans lead the defense, trying to get a stop here, and there's a great job done by Andrew Van Ginkle. Third and 11, Lance moving right, throwing down the field, one-on-one -on -one for Debo Samuel, and he wins a jump ball over Roman Davis all the way up to the Houston 34. You can't hold him down all game long. Second and six, Trey Sermon running ahead and picking up a couple, bringing up third and short. Third and three, they're going to give him... The ball again, and he is stuffed in the backfield, losing a yard. This is Ross Blacklock making another big play. So the 49ers are going to kick a field goal here and tie us up at 20 in this fourth quarter. Under five minutes to go in this fourth quarter. It's going to be a read option keeper for Divine. He has some space, has the first down, and is up across midfield. Finally knocked down at the 46 of San Francisco. The 49ers bit really hard on that big handoff. And a throw underneath here by Divine, caught by Claypool. And he picks up six yards there. Second and four. Willis getting the carry up the middle. Weaving ahead. He has the first down. And is finally brought down at the 31. They are in field goal range. They're trying to run some time down. Divine hits you at this one. Go. It's intercepted. That is Greenlaw making a play there. And the 49ers are going to take over at their own 30. With three and a half to go. I mean, he had some people open down the field. But Divine just didn't have the time to get the throw off to him. The 49ers now in control. Can... Run some clock down and potentially 
getting the field goal range, and they're going to have a great start at doing that as Torres takes it up to the 45. Ray Sermon, they fake it to him. Lance going right side, caught by Debo Samuel. He's out of bounds at the 46. With 2.48 left in the fourth quarter. Sermon ahead. He has the first down up to the 44 up Houston. The Niners are going to try to run this clock down. All day for Lance in the pocket, moving right. He's got to get rid of it there at the last second. 2.19 left. Second and 10, Trey Sermon right side. He spun down inside the 40. And it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Third and five. Lance. Plenty of time. Going right side. Caught by Torres. He's down inside the 30 at the 29. And the 49ers are in field goal range and are starting to wind this clock down. They give to Sermon left side. Picks up four yards. The Texans use their first timeout. Second and six. Trey Sermon left side this time. A missed tackle. He's inside the 10 and he's gone. Just like that, the 49ers have taken the lead here late in the fourth quarter. At least the Texans get to keep two timeouts, I guess. But they got to go down the field and score a touchdown themselves. Devine lobbing deep down the field. Caught by Joe Scott. He burns the 49ers defense and takes it to their 35. Why are they leaving anybody one-on-one -on -one in this situation? That is an absolute terrible defensive call. And the Texans have a chance now to send us to overtime, potentially. Devine right side. Caught by Mitchell. A missed tackle. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 9. Goal to go for Houston. First and goal. White. And they carry up the middle, and he's going to take it up to the four as the Texans run the clock down. 25 seconds left. Here's Willis left side, and he's into the end zone, tying us up here late in the fourth quarter at 27. If the 49ers want to try anything, or are they going to let this go to overtime? It looks like they're just going to run it. They do have all three of their timeouts and 20 seconds left, but I guess they're cool with overtime. The all-important coin toss here in overtime. Who's going to get the ball first? The Texans will. So they're going to have a chance to walk off winners. There, unfortunately, would be a holding call on the kick return. So the Texans got to start at their own 16. There, Willis gets a handoff on first down and picks up nothing. Second and 10. A pretty clean pocket. Devine going right side. Batted away by Fred Warner. Bringing up third and 10. Houston goes empty here. Devine. He's loading up, going for it all. One-on-one -on -one for Chase. Claypool incomplete. A quick three and out from the Texans. So the 49ers can walk off with a field goal. As Lance goes for it all one-on-one -on -one for Debo, Samuel broken up by Justin Reed. A great play by him. Second and ten. Lance, quick underneath to George Kittle, picking up a couple yards, making third down a bit easier. Third and four. Texans are going to blitz. Lance right side nearly intercepted by King. Both of the defenses getting a stop there on the first possession. As Willis gets a handoff, going nowhere on first down again. Second and nine. A blitz from the 49ers. Divine over the middle. Caught by White. The throw is behind him. A great spinning catch made. A new set of downs. Willis left side getting some blocks. He has the first down up past the 40. Crossing midfield and finally taken down at the 49ers 48. And the Texans are nearing field goal range now. Time starting to become a factor here in overtime as Willis runs it ahead and picks up a yard or two. Second and nine. A play action fake. Divine. Going over the middle for Adams. Incomplete. He can't hang on. Third and nine. The 49ers blitz. Divine left side. Caught by Adams. He has a first down. Putting the Texans in field goal range here at the 32. But they don't think they're close enough yet. They want to run it a bit more. Here's Willis ahead. Taking it inside the 20 down at the 19. And taking us to the two-minute warning here in overtime. Willis again here up the middle. And he's finally brought down. There's a flag on the play. And it's going to be holding on Martin McIntyre. The back of the 24 now. First and 15. Willis left side. Up to the 20. This time is really getting low. A minute 15 left. Here's Willis right side. Another yard or two here. The 49ers take a timeout. Third and eight. Willis up the middle. Reaching out. And he is short of the line to gain. So they're going to send on the field goal unit here on fourth and inches. This is for the win. Fairbairn, his kick is good right down the middle. The Texans come back and win this one. 30-27 here in overtime over the 49ers. Looking back at the stats in this one, Trey Lance, he had a pretty good game overall. He probably did enough to win the game, but the defense let him and the offense down. He probably should have had one more interception and one less touchdown. That one that was dropped by Roman Davis and caught by Ola B.C. Johnson. On the ground, Trey Sermon still ended up running for 90 yards. But he did average just 3.2 yards a carry. How about old BC Johnson's day? 6 for 108. That crazy touchdown catch. He was amazing. I just didn't expect him to do much. But yeah, he was their best receiver on the day. Dwight Devine, yeah, he had another bad game. 
it is becoming a problem at this point, I believe. He is definitely having a sophomore slump, and he just needs to get out of it. He was so good last year, but just hasn't been the same this year. Damien Willis, he got off to a slow start, but picked it up down the stretch, scoring the tying touchdown in the fourth quarter, and then getting us down the field in overtime, and putting us into field goal range. So yeah, he had a good game after a slow start. On to some upgrades here, Brevin Jordan. Let's go ahead and go possession. He needs to get on the field a bit more, and made a nice catch in this one and turned it up field, but still not on the field enough. Tanner Muse needs to get that man coverage up. It is just at 52 right now because of that morale loss. Let's go ahead and get that up, and he gets plus three to it, so that is great for him. Eric Northcutt, he has really had a tough season there at right tackle. I don't exactly know what to do. We have tried having extra blockers help him, but they just don't even do it half the time. Even if I tell them to, you know, marking the guy that is in front of uh, Eric Northcutt over there, or even telling him the double team, it just none of it's really helped. Hopefully that Eric Northcott keeps getting better and it just kind of solves itself. Martin Slauson has an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and go pass blocking in case he ever has to see the field. He is kind of bad at that. That is why we chose to go Martin McIntyre over him. And it has kind of worked out, I guess, for the most part. Mitchell Black, another backup offensive lineman. Let's go ahead and get that finesse block up for him. On the defensive side of the ball, Ezekiel Mills has an upgrade. Let's go ahead and go field general. He has kind of been an unsung hero for us. We don't really talk much about him, but he's good in coverage, a good tackler, and he's really helped out. On to some focus scouting here, we got to select the focus players. One of them is going to be Jeff Whitfield. We do need a younger right guard, and he could be an option there. And he has kind of slid down the board, but I am still kind of high on him. Mark's got another option there that we could move to right guard. He has moved up the board 20 spots, I see, and is now a projected third or fourth round pick instead of a day three pick, which kind of sucks for us. Jeremy Pierce, the last one we're going to select here. He could be a good middle linebacker to pair with Ezekiel Mills for the long haul. Next time, we'll be taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are now at 500 after defeating the Ravens last week. If the Jaguars beat us, this division race in the AFC South could get a whole lot closer for not only themselves, but also the Titans, who have won three straight games. We already played the Jaguars back in Week 2 on Sunday Night Football, and it was a great game. We pulled it out, though, winning 32-28, scoring 14 points in the fourth quarter. Well, yeah, hopefully we can win here again, but one thing that's going to make that a lot harder is that the Jaguars are going to have their two top playmakers this time. They're going to have James Robinson and DJ Shark, who were both out last time we played them. We're going to get a couple of reinforcements ourselves back. Kyle Van Noy, our backup edge rusher, and Tyler Randall, a rookie who is a key contributor on special teams. So both teams are going to be healthy, and it should be another great game as we take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. If you haven't checked out my NCAA series, you should go ahead and check that out. That's been some fun. But I think that's going to be all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.